Hello everyone and welcome back. Now we are still in some trouble, but I think we really should be able to handle it somehow. <laughs> now what I want to see here is how many of my troops could leave this place behind. Oh, no, that's not good. Yeah, you can leave, that should be fine. Aha, in Thessalonica, the... Damn, that name is hard to pronounce. Thessalonica, apparently the plague has ended, I didn't, I didn't even notice that before. There are quite a few generals here. I should probably probably bring them over to the Western Front. Okay, now this place is still doing well. No problems here. Okay. Ugh, come on. Huh? What's that? The British actually, or the British, the Britons, um, they retreated? Why the hell would they do that? Oh well. <laughs> I'm not going to complain, but... Well, that's odd. Oh, maybe that's why all of my allies have declared war on them. Well, that <laughs> that's what happens when you piss off the Romans, I guess. Should have known better than that. Okay, this won't be a problem at all. So we can besiege it. This is... Uh, well, a bit of a problem, I suppose. Four turns. Okay, first of all, this is my place. Next. Uh, next, there's another fucking huge army of Spanish barbarians coming at me. Uh, when will we get a fucking break here. Now do you want a ceasefire? Ugh. Ready to sail. Prepare to engage. Trying to initiate diplomacy with barbarians. What was I thinking? And here I thought I could finally develop my settlements, but nope. Gotta recruit more troops. Oh, and I'm... I'm actually broke now. Fucking excellent. How much longer until I can take this seven turns? And this three turns. Okay, at least that will give us some money when we take it. What happened to all my money? I guess it's uh, disappearing right there. <laughs> you guys. Oh, of course, there's still this damn rebel force. You guys, can you uh, leave this town? No. I do need to get rid of them, though. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, that's nothing dangerous. Really, really, our victory, I think, is inevitable, even here in the West. It's just that... Well, it, it could take a while, uh, but uh, as soon as we get all of these troops over there, all of the good ones, <laughs> they are surely done for. Right, okay. And now we are completely broke. What what happened here? Oh, did they corrupt one of my diplomats? Uh, yeah. Ah. Damn him. That's not going to phase us, though. Are you kidding me? It's always something new, isn't there? But maybe I can get a general out of this. This will be an interesting battle, <laughs> with no real uh, general n on either side. <laughs> and on top of that it's a uh, river crossing here. guys can you get across somewhere somewhere other than the bridge apparently not no Then you'll have to use the bridge. Because they are not, not doing a good job of, of guarding this bridge. Maybe this could be our opportunity. I don't want to fight them if I don't have to, but it looks like I do have to fight them. This is no way for uh. a Roman to behave. Shame will be hit. Your general has thrown away. You know what? Life. Fuck this. And now he feeds the I'm out of here. His men may soon be bird food yeah, this too. this was a, a dumb mistake in hindsight. I, I thought I could get across the bridge uh, without fighting them. Damn, there goes all my cavalry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was uh, kind of stupid. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Ah, well. Even a great strategic mastermind like myself can make an, a mistake once in a while. Sail. 
Now let's see if we can at least win this one. Now these guys are skirmishers. Maybe we can um, charge into their backs when they try to run away. Head hurlers. <laughs> well, that is a cool unit, for sure. That was no problem. Though we lost a few men, but it's acceptable. Acceptable losses. At least now the siege is lifted. <laughs> really just a, a one, one unit uh, siege. <laughs> there are one man armies and one unit sieges. Ah, oh, now this is excellent. That's what I've been hoping for secretly. Sir. We got another general out of this. Yeah, you stay there. Okay, it doesn't look too bad now, but of course this army could very, very easily take Alicia, if they so choose. Okay, this... This I... Hmm, could I do better than auto-resolve? Yes, I think I will fight this manually just to try to avoid casualties and actually I'm not I'm not even that that certain of victory with auto resolve you never know in this game what what you will get which is of course the way it's supposed to be in this case it's really not worth the risk And then, the Gauls will be down to their very last settlement, down in Iberia or Spain, which is excellent for us. Uh, still, we have to get there first <laughs> to take it off of them. Lots of skirmishers inside this town. Of course, in melee they won't be no, no trouble at all. Just gotta watch out for the regular warband with our cavalry and these warhounds. These guys getting smashed before <laughs> we actually set foot inside the city. Excellent. 
if we could trap their skirmishers between two of our cavalry units, that would be ideal. So that they, they cannot uh, use their missiles and hopefully route pretty quickly. Guys, you can't do anything right. Ah, oh, the pathfinding in siege battles. <laughs> Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture. Well, at least they are not resisting. Well, okay. I'd say we got the walls. Push through them. Our Hastati over here needs some help. Oh well, no, they're actually doing okay. Yeah, there we go. Just cut right through them. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Come on, guys. This place is ours. It's basically just another worthless village, but... We'll build it up in time. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle it's beyond belief. Yeah, I think this was the right decision. Fighting this uh, manually in auto-resolve we probably... We might have even lost, and we would have taken... A lot more casualties. The gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Four percent casualties so far. That's even better than I anticipated. guys kill the dogs, you guys finish off the uh, skirmishers, if you please. Come on, get on with it. There we go. How much casualties? 5%. Totally acceptable losses. Well, that's another 600 per turn, at least. Let's see which city they choose to attack. Nabomasius or this Limonum thing. You get down there. And you guys. You are out of money. You can't do anything. Forget it. Oh, why am I be even bothering conquering this land? Honestly, worthless. Well, if you look at this map now, we are still way ahead of history, of course, considering that... Um, um, the Romans didn't um, entirely conquer Gaul until the times of Caesar. And we are obviously way ahead of that at uh, 250 BC here. So, on a whole, really this is... it's... it's alright. 
the situation. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, I think there's nothing else to do. This will be ours in two turns and six turns, respectively. And uh, yeah, let's see what the Britons do next. Hopefully, nothing. And well, they actually do nothing. <laughs> Arthur Macedonians <laughs> have a spy in Alicia. Oh no, in Lugdum. <laughs> Honestly, or was this actually the other one? Yeah, okay, never mind then. Ah, Massilia expands. That's excellent news. Spanish are still sitting on their asses down there. Yes, you guys will be guarding Narbo Macias. You guys, uh, you you guys will be guarding Elysia. Now I'm, I am actually fairly confident that we'll be able to hold this area. This this uh, thing is still a problem, but it's also not very important. Yeah, now we should really be able to hold these two cities, uh, either one of them, against uh, the Spanish. Which gives us time, of course, to get these guys over there. And when they arrive, it's over <laughs> for the barbarians. Yes, Captain. All ashore. Sir. They are still a problem, of course sitting on this bridge. <laughs> I need more skirmishes, I think, for that. Or what I could do... Ah! Now this should work. Because my reinforcing um, cavalry, they should enter the battlefield on the other side of the bridge. <laughs> and then we won't have this uh, problem that we, um, that we encountered last time. Yeah, excellent. Perfect plan. Oh, you will pay for last time. You guys just hold the bridge for now. Help is coming. Nope, do not fight them.
Haha, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, sweet revenge. Ah, much better. <laughs> Always appearing at the most inconvenient times. Damn slaves, or rebels, or whatever you want to call them. For now, I really think we need all the money we can get. But also, our settlements uh, really are growing nicely. Except for this one, just 1% population growth. But, well, it will be fine. In due time. All in due time. For now, really, money is more important. And troops. And troops cost money. Okay, now I think these guys can take the overland road over here to Gaul, and these guys I will pick up with my main fleet here. <laughs> and then it's really uh, time's up for the barbarians, I think. Still, of course, not not really an ideal situation since I will be fighting the British the Britons, whatever, um, up here, and what's uh, remaining of Gaul and the Spanish down here. But we will pull through. I am sure of it. Can you leave this place? Can you go over here? Mm, probably doesn't make too much of a difference. But every little bit helps. Oh, and also after this, yeah, Sparta is of course still owned by the Greeks. We should try to get that. Uh, but this place is not under control yet. That's too bad. This army, of course, will be in our way. And this is a considerable force. Oh well. We shall worry about that when the time comes. Imperial. Yeah, nothing else I can do. Yes, except for you. Keep an eye on them. And it could be that uh, the Macedonians will put up a last desperate fight here at Byzantium. But if that happens, they will definitely lose. Or what's my army around here? Well, they would have a cavalry advantage. Hmm, I don't like that. Oh, but still. I think we can beat them. Ah, yes. Here they are. Okay. Yeah. In this case, or in this battle, it doesn't even matter how many men we lose, or... Well, that always matters, but it's not that big of a deal this time, because in this area, they won't have any forces left, and they, in fact, will have but a single settlement left that is also under siege. So, yeah, they are pretty much done for. But I will fight this battle in the next episode, folks. 
So, as always, um, I thank you all for watching. Please tune in next time, and I will see you then.